feel like every time I do a video, like I have to report it like 3,000 times because it's like, no, I could say it this way better or that way, or my dogs bark, or the kitties fight, or something happens. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be talking about what is ketogenic diet. I've watched so many videos, I have so much information in my brain, that trying to make this like a five minute video is stressful. Ketogenic diet is a diet that you eat 70% fats, 20-25% to protein, and then 5% carbs. Ta-da! That's it. We don't need to overcomplicate it. We don't need to go crazy. And the only reason that people, like, they get crazy. So let's just say in the ketogenic diet, your fuel source is fat. That's going to make your body move. It's the goo for your internal battery. It's going to make you happy, okay? So glucose and glycogen and all those kinds of terms have to do with carbs, and that is what your body uses for fuel. So you have two different options as far as fuel sources, which is why you hear words like ketones or ketosis or keto adapted because it has to do with that portion of the fuel source. So when you're, when people Think about, oh my gosh, 70% fats, that means I'm going to be fat. Not true. We are fat phobic. We are afraid of fats. Truth be told, in, um, carbohydrates actually are what lead to fat in the body. And if you think about it, our body is like a chemistry lab or an experiment gone wrong and weird things happen. When you think about cortisol levels and how it affects the body or serotonin levels and depression or just, just hormones in general. So like just because you eat a taco doesn't mean a taco comes out. Like our body does stuff to it. <laughs> right? So just because you eat a fat, it doesn't turn into a fat. But if you eat a carb and the way that the body processes it with insulin and insulin resistance, that is going to store it as a fat. And I'm not going to get into that right now as far as why that is bad. I'm just going to tell you that carbohydrates are making fat, not fats. Good. Clear? Yes, we is. I totally heard you because I'm talking to myself in my room. So that is, that is the basis of it. Now, when you start to look at the benefits of ketogenic diet and where it got started and, and the fads and like all this stuff. Okay, first of all, ketogenic diet ha was developed in 1924. So it's not a new fad diet. It followed a favor be when anti-seizure meds were introduced because it was designed to treat epilepsy and it was very effective for that. And then when the medication came out, that's easier than this. So of course that became the new thing. And it was developed by Dr. Russell Wilder in the Mayo Clinic. And if you know anything about hospitals and the medical, in the whole, like, who is well-known and knows their SHIT, Mayo Clinic, I have a lot of respect for them. So, yes. So he designed it there. And then, you know, now it's coming back into favor because it has this benefit for weight loss. As well as it's been known to improve ADHD, um, autism, seizures, uh, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, an anxiety. Did I say that? I don't even know. So it's got all these things where it helps your brain because it can, one, I think it's like one gram of fat is like three times more effective than like glucose or something. So all it is is your fuel source is going to be fat instead of carbs and glycogen, which makes it really, really effective because you are more satiated on fats, you're going to be full longer, you don't need to eat as often, and you're going to feel energetic and feel good versus glucose, which like kind of like, you have crash, crash mirth. You know, hangry, you know, hangry, yeah. That's a carb thing. It's a carb thing. If you're on keto, that's not going to happen. Unless you forget to eat, like straight up. So, um, I was really, really hesitant to do this diet. I didn't want to. James was the first one who introduced me, and I'm like, Psh, I've been doing paleo, and that's what I like, and that's what I'm going to stick with because I feel good on that. Uh, because I'm super susceptible to carbs and them affecting my anxiety and depression. I was like, no, I'm not changing it. I've got a system that works. But I was low energy. Um, my bowels were messed up. My, in my family, like hemorrhoids and colitis and certain things down below don't work so great and I was having issues with that and I, I digestion and it was painful and so he kind of like kind of kept talking to me and kept talking to me and was finally like look like we really need to and I said no until I finally caved which is how it always goes in our relationship so <laughs> um we when when I switched over um my anxiety and depression significantly reduced James had weight loss and muscle growth from it so it's one of those diets where like it kind of like meets everybody's needs I feel like and uh, it's, it's amazing. So if you want more information on this <laughs> and you find it to be interesting, um, just let me know uh, and I will make more videos about the benefits of it. And I can get more into the science. I just don't know that it really needs to be complicated. And that's why I didn't elaborate on that further. YouTube videos are a little bit harder to make. So if you want to know just quick tips, I do stuff on Instagram all the time and I do stuff on Snapchat. So I'll like post it somewhere and just, it's the same name as my YouTube channel, Hunting for Healthy. If you want to come and hang out with me and see my foster kitty, 
this is Nibbler because she's black and white. Have you seen Futurama? And she's a bully. And she nibbles. I'm surprised she hasn't tried to attack my ears, but she's been sitting in my lap. I'm probably she's like, what are you doing? Anyways, I foster them until they're big enough to go into our adoption program, and then they can be um, injured to a your bug nummy. Do you see the flourishes? Um, I have another one running around somewhere. But she beats up the little ones, so I try to keep her with me. And that is... That is why you should follow me on Snapchat to see cute animals and to get food tips because I don't always post them here. And uh, yeah, subscribe below to see more. And I hope that this was helpful and informative. I didn't want to overload you with a ton of information because ketogenic and dietitians can get a little cray cray.